So after 10 long years, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation has revised India's GDP base year. So from the base year of 2011-2012, which has been ongoing since the year 2015, now a new revised base year of India's GDP would be seen. And that base year would be the year 2022-2023, which means India's GDP base year would be revised from 2011-2012 to 2022-2023. And now the base year would be 2022-2023. And this is not just for India's GDP calculation, but also for index of industrial production. For that also, it, the base year has been revised to 2022-2023. Three. However, the base year for the consumer price index in our country has been revised again, but it is not 2022-2023, but it is 2023-2024. So for GDP's base year and index for industrial production base year, it will remain the same, that is 2022-2023, but for consumer price index, it will be one year after, that is 2023-2024. And all these things would come into effect in the next year, 27th of January 2026, when this new data will be released with this particular base year. Now, in the June of 2024, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation made a 26-member advisory committee on national accounts statistics in order to decide the base year for GDP calculation under the chairmanship of Biswanath Goldar. And it also focused on aligning the GDP calculations with other key macro indicators, whether it be wholesale price index, consumer price index, or index for industrial production as well. And as you can see now that the base year for GDP, base year for IIP and base year for CPI has been revised in this particular year. Now what do you mean by GDP base year? How base year is relevant in the calculation of GDP? And what is the context of nominal and real GDP in this regard? And what is index for industrial production? And what is consumer price index? All these things we'll be trying to understand in this particular session. And this historic change of change in base year, how it will impact the calculations, that also we'll be trying to understand in this particular session. Hello, my name is Preetpal Singh and you're watching Perspective. Now, without beating around the bush, first let us try to understand what is this base year. Now, from the name itself, you will get to know that base year is a year of reference. We also call it as a reference year. Now, in GDP, whenever we compare one year with another year, so when we compare this year's GDP with some other year's GDP, we always have a reference year in mind. And that reference year is known as base year, the reference year which government has in mind while making comparison year to year basis. Now, if you have to understand it in a deeper way, let us try to understand it very simply. See, how do you calculate GDP, gross domestic product? Gross domestic product, it simply means the gross value of all the final goods and services being produced within the domestic territory of a country in a particular financial year, which means it is the value of goods produced in a financial year in a particular domestic territory, that is GDP. So if I have to calculate GDP, I will take the quantity of good produced multiplied by the price of the goods produced, I will get the value of the goods produced, that will be the GDP. Now this is where we have to understand very specifically that if I take the quantity and the price of the goods of that particular year, the GDP which I am trying to calculate is a nominal GDP. But there is one more type of GDP that is real GDP where I take the quantity of goods produced in this particular year. Let's say in the year 2024, in my country there is just production of 10 chocolates. Now those 10 chocolates are worth 10 rupees each. So what is the GDP? The GDP is 100 rupees. But when we calculate the real GDP, the number of chocolates would remain the same because that is the quantity of goods and services produced in that particular country in that particular year. The quantity would remain the same. But the price which we will take will be of a base year, a reference year. So let's say the base year was 2011-2012 and in 2011-2012, the price of one chocolate was actually 5 rupees. So now the real GDP would be 10 chocolates into 5 rupees, that is 50. So the nominal GDP is 100, but the real GDP is 50, which means in actuality what we see over here is that nominal GDP, it takes into account current prices and the real GDP takes into account base year price. Now you would ask the question why? The simple answer to it is that when we calculate real GDP, what are we trying to do? We are trying to keep the prices constant. And by keeping the prices constant, how does it help us? It helps us in understanding the impact of production on GDP rather than the price on GDP. Because if you see, the price of chocolate could be 10 this year, it could be 20 next year, 30 in the next year. So GDP might change because of fluctuation in prices. But if you want to know in actuality how much production is changing, 
and how much production increases causing increase in GDP, we actually keep the price constant. And the price which we keep constant is the price of the base year, which is why base year is very integral and important while we calculate the real GDP of a country. And the name real GDP in itself highlights that we are trying to calculate GDP in its real form where the impact of price fluctuation is not there, but the impact of increase or decrease in production could be seen. Increase or decrease in change in quantities could be seen, which is why real GDP is important and base year is important. Now, since we have understood what is base year, a reference year, I need to discuss with you why do we set a particular year as a base year? See, usually a year of low economic volatility a year where there are less economic fluctuations, no very major economic catastrophe, that particular year is chosen as a base year. Now, for example, the year 2021 or COVID-19, the year 2020, that year won't be chosen as a base year because in that particular year, we have went to a technical recession. So Indian economy was in a technical recession. There was economic turmoil, economic fluctuation. That year would not be chosen as a base year. A year which was relatively stable than the preceding or succeeding years would be chosen as a base year. And we chose which year as base year? The year of 2022-2023. And one more thing which is very relevant and important here is, which means in the frame of 5 to 10 years, your base year should lie. If it is older than that, it would make the calculations very, very old and non-relevant. And if it is very, very new, no, which is why the base year helps us to calculate the real GDP and helps us to get the value of the actual gross domestic product of the economy in a real sense without fluctuation of prices and keeping the prices constant of a particular base year. Now, I hope you have understood why, what is base year and why base year is important and relevant. Now, coming to the news. That base year was 2011-2012. See, one change was made in the year 2015. One very major change was made in the year 2015. The United Nations system of national accounts. It is a system of national account, how national accounting should be done. And it is given by UN. Now, India adopted UN system of national accounts in their own system of national accounts. And who calculates in India? It is the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. The NSO under MOSP, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. So, NSO adopted the UN system of national accounts in the year 2015. And there were few changes made to the GDP calculation. One very major change was that before 2015, GDP was calculated at factor cost. Now, those who are students of economics, they would know that there are two ways to calculate GDP. One is GDP at factor cost. Another is GDP at market prices. So before 2015, it was calculated at factor cost. We used to have GDP at FC in the newspapers, wherever you used to see. But after 2015, the GDP figures from FC, they were transformed and converted into market price, that is MP. And what is the difference between factor cost and market price? Just one thing that we add, net indirect taxes. So 2015 onwards, GDP of India started including net indirect taxes as well. That was one major change in 2015, which was made. So before 2015, the GDP series was known as old GDP series. And now it is new GDP series. That was the first change. Second major change, which I want to highlight in front of you the most is the change in base year. So before 2015, the base year for GDP calculation in our country was 2004-2005. But in 2015, it was changed. And in 2015, the base year was kept as 2011-2012. And from 2015, it went on till as recently as 2025. So as recently as 2025, India's base year was same, that is 2011-2012. But now we will change the base year and 20, 25 onwards, we will change the base year to 2022-2023. That is the news and that is the historic change which has been announced by the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. Now, usually every 5 to 10 years, base year is revised. But since the last many decades, we are seeing that every 10 years, there is one base year revision in the country. Now, there were also talks in 2017-2018 as well that let's keep 2017, 2018 as the base year. But there were a lot of issues. Issues related to demonetization was there, GST inclusion was there, and periodic labor force survey not showing the correct data or showing uh, India in bad light. All those things were there. Unemployment data in, in India was not really good. Uh, there were indications of rising poverty levels. Because of that, 2017, 2018, we could not keep it as the base year. And eventually, 2022, 2023 was kept as the base year because that year was considered as, considered as relatively stable by the 26 member committee which was formed by Mosby. Now, the question which you might ask is why change the base year at all? So, the first thing is that base year reflects the current time. It reflects the current changes in the economy. So, if base year is revised, the current changes in the economy would be reflected. So, this 2022, 2023 base year 
it reflects the changes in the economy which has been made whether it be in relation to insolvency bankruptcy code whether it be in relation to the new gdp series whether it be in relation to the gst whether it be in relation to demonetization or n number of reforms economic reforms for our country all those changes would be reflected in this base year of 2022 2023 and also the revision helps us in improving the data accuracy because the data accuracy one decade back was lesser than it is today and better data sources and methodology improves because of the space year revision and also the biggest thing is that it removes inflation distortions because when we are calculating real gdp if we have a base year of 2011 2012 it won't reflect the current times but now when we calculate the real gdp of 2025 2026 it would be a bit recent and it would also show us the impact of production also so which is why for inflation related distortions removing that updation of base year is very essential also one more thing which is very much related to it is that the gdp figures and the base year figures and the index for industrial production consumer price index these are macroeconomic indicators for the country which are very essential to take policy decisions and for private businesses investment decision in the country and if that data is revised timely from time to time to reflect the contemporary realities the current realities it is very helpful for impactful policy decisions and good business decisions and investment decisions for the private players as well which is why updating the space year is very very crucial very very important now till now we have discussed about the gdp base year which has been changed i told you that the base year for index for industrial production and the base year for consumer price index has also been changed now in index for industrial production how base year is relevant see first of all what is index for industrial production it is a indicator which is formed again by nso under ministry of Pro statistics and program implementation national statistical office it compiles and publishes monthly index for industrial production data and it is an indicator that measures the changes in the volume of production of industrial products during a given so what has been the change in the volume of production of industrial products industrial production in a given period in a period of one month how when we measure that we make an index we call it as index for industrial production Now it is also very important indicator a composite indicator to measure the growth rate of industrial groups classified under broad sectors in our economy whether it be mining manufacturing electricity or use based sectors like basic goods capital goods and intermediate goods as well this index for industrial production is very very important now before this particular change the base year for index for industrial production was 2011 2012 and now with this change in 2025 the new base year is 2022 2023 now other than index for industrial production there is one more index that is consumer price index cpi now consumer price index it is an index for prices of the consumer goods in the country which means it is an index which analyzes and sees that the prices of consumer goods in the country which consumers use end consumers use the prices of those goods are going up or down the prices are increasing or decreasing so in a way consumer price index helps us in calculation of inflation and simply putting consumer price index is an index which helps us measuring change in prices of goods and services in the economy from the perspective of a consumer again i'll repeat consumer price index is an index which helps us in measuring change of prices of goods and services in the economy from the perspective of end consumer that is your consumer price index so there is a basket of selected goods and services specifically around 299 goods and services there is a basket of that and index is made to measure the change in the price average price of that basket if the prices goes up which means the price of the overall basket is going up which means there is inflation in the economy and at what percentage we can we get to know the inflation percentage through the consumer price index now the consumer price index also has a base year and earlier the base year was 2012 but now the base year would be 2023 2024 which is changed from the index for industrial production and the gdp base year it is one year ahead the base year for the consumer price index now as you would know that consumer price index is also prepared by the national statistical office under the ministry of statistics and program implementation short form we call it as mospi now one more in important information which you should know about cpi is that cpi for different population groups is calculated in different or different methods one is cpi which is calculated for industrial workers we call we call it as cpi iw which is compiled by nso so there is one more cpi that is cpi for rural laborers so from the perspective of laborers living in rural areas from their perspective the change in price of goods and services which they consume a cpi specifically for that target population now this cpi for rural laborers is compiled by the labor bureau under the ministry of labor and employment 
and other than that for agricultural laborers there is another cpi we call it as cpi al cpi agricultural laborers so one is cpi iw industrial workers one is cpi rural laborers rl one is cpi agricultural laborers al which is again compiled by nso and the last one is cpi rural urban combined which is the overall cpi which we see so cpi is specifically for rural areas then for urban areas then then combined for the whole country and the base here which we are discussing is about the cpi for the whole country which helps us in getting the inflation percentage in our economy now since we have discussed about what is base here how it impacts the gdp numbers what is index for industrial production what is consumer price index now one last thing which i'd like to discuss is in relation to transparency effectiveness and credibility of the data of the gdp numbers through this new base here see until unless we improve our data collection methods through the household consumption survey or through different other surveys which we do until unless we improve the calculation or the processing of the data the data crunching we won't be able to get good gdp numbers which reflects the the contemporary reality the current reality of the particular economy in order to ensure that we have to ensure a robust methods for calculation of gdp which are not having leakages and not having loopholes and which is why we need to make our data more inclusive and we need to cover more and more informal sector in the calculations as we can because see majority of our economy is in informal sector and usually it is very difficult to account the datas of informal sector while we calculate gdp whether it be through any of the base here so until unless informal sector inclusion is there by increasing the sample size or increasing the frequency of periodic labor force survey or whether it be aadhar linked data or any other technology driven solution or artificial intelligence solution until unless we include informal sector our gdp data won't be reflective of the country so for that institutional reforms are required survey based reforms are required process based reforms are required and we need to ensure and we need to enhance transparency and accountability while we calculate these datas and the publishing of these data should be made in a transparent way if all these things are ensured the base year revision which is done to highlight the new policy outcomes the new policy decisions and the post pandemic economic recovery of india the data and the move of the government and the ministry of statistics and program implementation would be deemed effective if all these changes are not done and these changes are not made in an effective or efficient way the whole change of the base year won't be of any use for the economy it would just be used by the statisticians by the mathematicians and by the economist but for the real economic reality to be highlighted in these particular datas we need to ensure process reforms in the calculation of gdp in the setting of the base year and in publishing of the real numbers which are calculated by the technicians if all these things are ensured we'll be able to ensure that the data which we which we use is human centric and it helps the country in better policy decisions and better investment decisions as well i hope you gained a new perspective from the session all the very best have a very beautiful day thank you